Good morning. Um, my name is Francesco Petruccione, and I'm the interim director of a new institute uh, called the National Institute for Theoretical and Computational Sciences. Yeah? And the purpose of my talk this morning is to introduce you uh, to this new entity, which is a, a new player in the, in the general system of, uh, of research and, and innovation in, in South Africa. Yeah? And uh, since we have uh, computational in the name, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, big data are, are at the core of, uh, of what we do. Uh, let me start uh, <clears throat> uh, by sharing uh, my, my screen quickly so that I can uh, share with you. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Here we go. Okay, so what I want to, as I said, what I, I want to introduce you to this new player in the, in the systems of innovation called uh, NITEX. And uh, <clears throat> we were just uh, uh, given the, the, the go ahead at the beginning of, of this year by the Minister of Science and, and, and Innovation, yeah, uh, Bladen Zimande. And, uh, <clears throat> and, and, um, and we are in the process of, of setting up this, this institute. Yeah? And what I want to share with you today is uh, why we have this institute, where it comes from, and where it wants to go. Yeah? And, and this with the, with the intention uh, to start establishing a relationship uh, <clears throat> with, our, with other entities in the countries, and in particular with, uh, uh, with industry. So, let me start by, by reviewing uh, the, 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 a little bit the history of this new institute. Yeah? <clears throat> In, um, the, the institute uh, emerges yeah, because uh, of the successes of a previous institute, yeah, which was the National Institute for Theoretical Physics called NITEP. Yeah? And, um, <clears throat> and I want to briefly uh, tell you uh, the, the story of, of NITEP and the successes of NITEP uh, because they are uh, fundamental to understand uh, the role that uh, that NITEX uh, will play in our national system of uh, of innovation. <clears throat> so around 2004, uh, DSI and uh, then DST and NRF uh, commissioned a study on the status uh, of uh, of physics in uh, in South Africa. Yeah, so an international panel was was appointed, and um, and they published a, a report. I think in 2004, and one of the recommendations of the report was to establish a national institute for theoretical physics. Yeah, the idea being that. Uh, uh, the return on investment on theoretical physics, yeah, which is essentially a, a paper and pencil and a little bit of computer discipline, yeah, uh, would be would be huge. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah so in 2008, uh, NITEP was then officially launched as the as the new home uh, for theoretical physics <clears throat> in the country. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, uh, NITEP had a node structure, yeah, we have a main node uh, in, in Stellenbosch, which is also the, the contracting site between DSI, NRF, and the, and the Institute, and two further nodes, one uh, in KwaZulu-Natal at UKZN, where, where I am based, yeah, and, and one uh, in Gauteng at, uh, at Wits. Yeah, so we have these three, uh, <clears throat> these, these three nodes in the, in the country. <clears throat> but of course, as I will show you just now, we have also a network uh, of associates uh, that are based um, at almost all university in the, in the country. So over the years, NITEP have published around 800 um, until the big end of 2020, <clears throat> because in 2021, we, we start the counting under, under NITEX, yeah? around 800 publications in, in, uh, in refereed, uh, good quality, high impact journal. Uh, we graduated more than 200 masters and PhD students. So we really uh, had an impact on the, on, the <clears throat> on the development of the new generation and roughly, Two thirds of all graduates in theoretical physics have a connection in this country. Have a connection with with NITEP, yeah? either because they have a bursary or because they are supervised by a, by a NITEP associate. So we have a network. NITEP has a network of seventy six associates, <clears throat> as as I mentioned, in all the <clears throat> in most of the university rankings. Yeah, uh, we rank uh, among the top three for many years. <laughs> Uh, in uh, in uh, in institute uh, dedicated to physical sciences yeah so even we have also our global uh, recognition yeah in, in the african continent and and as i mentioned we have three uh, three nodes yeah um every year uh, nitep <clears throat> um awards 
around 30 bursaries yeah, to masters and, uh, and PhD students. You see here a little bit of the, the trend of the bursary over the last couple of years. This year we had a little bit of a dip uh, because the National Research Foundation changed the system of awarding bursaries, so we can't do it directly anymore. We have to channel it through uh, through NRF, and there were a little bit of teething problems <laughs> among the institutions, among the students, among everybody involved, uh, so that, that that will pick up again uh, uh, next year. Yeah? And you see we have bursary holders at, um, <clears throat> at uh, around 10 uh, uh, university scatters, uh, scattered across the country. Yeah? <clears throat> the demographics, um, you know, is always an important aspect yeah? uh, of our students. It's not perfect, uh, but uh, uh, but it improved considerably uh, over the years. And and the trend is that uh, uh, soon will be really be a, a proper reflection of the demographics of the of the country. <clears throat> we have also uh, a very successful internship program. Yeah. So every year uh, we issue calls <clears throat> for, uh, this is aimed at honor students yeah? uh, across the, the, the country, and we offer them uh, to be supervised for a research project uh, by one of our NITEP uh, associates. And you see this year we had uh, uh, around uh, 40 or so, and this, the program is very important because most of the students that su successfully come through the internship program uh, become then later masters and then <laughs> successful PhD students. So it's, this is the, the program that starts our pipeline of, of, of producing yeah, masters and, uh, uh, and PhD students. <clears throat> and of course, since COVID uh, hit us, yeah, since the pandemic, uh, all our activities are online, including the internship students. Yeah, so one of the uh, packages in the internship program is that we award the students with, with, with data so that they can interact freely with the, <clears throat> with the supervisor and the other research teams in which they get embedded uh, without any, uh, any constraint. <clears throat> As I mentioned uh, last year in April, <laughs> yeah, we were forced to move uh, uh, when, the, when the hard lockdown started yeah, at the end of March, uh, we moved all our, all our activities online. Yeah? So we have a weekly uh, colloquium where, to which you are all uh, kindly invited. Just uh, register on our mailing list on our website. I will share the link just now. Uh, we have a more specific uh, technical uh, webinars. Yeah? And every month we have a training event that we call the mini school. Yeah, so every Tuesday afternoon, every month uh, is devoted to, to a topic. For instance, <clears throat> yesterday, sorry, today is, <laughs> is Wednesday when I recorded in, in, um, in, 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 um, in August, uh, we had a mini school devoted to machine learning uh, in high energy physics. And that was really coupled to, uh, to how to analyze uh, big data uh, that come from the, um, High energy physics experiments uh, uh, at CERN in uh, uh, in Switzerland. Yeah, and you see that uh, because of this moving online of all our programs, uh, we managed to 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 reach many many more people than uh, than we used to do in the, uh, in the past. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have a, a YouTube channel. Yeah, with. Uh, uh, around more than 800 uh, subscribers. Yeah, we hope to reach 1,000 uh, before the end of the year. Yeah, we had um, <clears throat> uh, probably in the meantime close to 30,000 uh, views. Uh, our top video had uh, 2,500 uh, viewers on, 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 on YouTube. Yeah, and that, of course, this number, of course, increased uh, by the day. But the idea of this is that we want it to be a repository yeah, for, for training and engagement uh, with, the, with the community. And you are welcome to, to browse, and you will find interesting talks that, <laughs> that, that you might find uh, appealing. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Last year, we also relaunched the website, not anymore as the website of the National Institute of Theoretical Physics. It is now the, national, the, 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 uh, the website of the National Institute of Theoretical and Computational Science, uh, netex.ac.za is the, is, is the link, the hyperlink. And, and we are really working hard to make this website become a platform yeah, for all theoretical and computational activities <clears throat> in the country. Yeah, so please. Um, <clears throat> I think it, it's structured fairly straightforwardly and it should be of easy to use. And, and we are still building it up to become really a, a useful tool 
for all disciplines, theoretical and computational uh, in, in, in the country. Yeah? <clears throat> Uh, we have uh, also research programs. Yeah, um, for instance, last year uh, we had uh, five, uh, and these are programs in which associates from uh, across the, the, the disciplines and, and based in various countries uh, interact with each other and produce high quality uh, science. Yeah, so we have one. Uh, um, based um, <clears throat> where the PI is based at the University of Vinda, essentially on computational studies for, for material science, yeah, which is, of course, a, a hot topic. Yeah? Um, we have another uh, research program on, um, on theoretical and computational astrophysics yeah, with respect to HIRAX, which is another uh, radio astronomy program uh, running in parallel to the uh, to the SKA, <clears throat> yeah, and these are of course programs where lots of students are involved, where lots of uh, uh, various uh, computational and machine learning skills are uh, are desperately needed. Yeah, uh, we have um, <clears throat> motivated by by the pandemic, we have a, a, an almost obligatory um, genomic uh, research program. With, um, with very high ranking people uh, involved yeah, that uh, you might recognize some of the, some of the names. <clears throat> the other almost obligatory <laughs> research program is machine learning with theoretical physics. Yeah? This is also uh, a big research program uh, that has principal investigators uh, and researchers uh, at, at many universities in the, in the country. Uh, last but not least, yeah, we have a, a research program. You see again, big data science applied to nuclear physics. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, where uh, Professor Nico Orche from the University of Western Cape is the principal investigator. But there are many more people uh, involved. I just didn't have enough space to list them. To list them all. Yeah, and sixth, um, this is not a, a research program. Uh, this is our South African theory school. Yeah, it's called theory school because it was originally uh, a NITEP program. Yeah, uh, now we are in the process. We, we, we will uh, we just issue the, the call yeah, for the next round of funding. Yeah, and uh, and it will become a theory and computational school. Yeah, and um, and it will be interesting to a much broader. Uh, audience of, uh, of, of, of students. Yeah, the, the aim of the school uh, is to address uh, the, the, the training needs uh, mainly of um, students at honors level. Yeah, so that, that is the, the, the and, and, and we hope that, you know, that we will be able to, uh, to propagate yeah, the basic skills in, in, in computational sciences and theoretical sciences in, in machine learning, artificial intelligence uh, uh, across the, the university, even to those universities that maybe don't have uh, uh, too many in-house resources to, to train appropriately there. Uh, their students. Yeah, so these are the programs that that we had last year, yeah, and or, or that we have this year. Yeah, and and, and we are in the progress of uh, uh, of um, <clears throat> of renewing uh, the, the, the 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 research programs uh, to include even more disciplines, as I will tell you uh, in a few minutes. So I just check the time. Yeah, oh, sorry. Uh, so we have these research programs, <clears throat> and uh, what we have started. Uh, <clears throat> In the spirit of this new institute, yeah, that we want, uh, um, you know, um, research funds come come at a premium uh, these days, yeah, because of the pandemic and because of many other problems, yeah. So that uh, we started to open up to uh, to not rely upon exclusively on our basic uh, grant that uh, that we that we thankfully receive, yeah, and we are looking to complement it with uh, uh, with research programs, yeah. And last year we, we were lucky to to start a research program to investigate the use of pool testing, yeah? uh, which is, uh, <clears throat> you know, at the moment, if you need a PCR test, uh, it's an individual test, yeah? but you can, uh, uh, if the prevalence is not too high, you can pull together uh, 10 people yeah? and, and test them together, <laughs> together. Yeah? you take the sample, you put in the same uh, uh, machine, yeah? and if nobody is, uh, is, is positive, then you know that with one test, 10 people are, uh, are not are, are COVID negative. Yeah? And you can scale it up, we scale it up to, to around 100 tests in, in one go. You can pick up if there is a, uh, one or two uh, um, positive, positive case. And this is a combination of a really clever uh, geometric <laughs> and, uh, and computational tools 
and and testing yeah and and we we, we, we it, it has been in use for for some time and the first publications are uh, are coming out but this is just an example of what we want to do and why it is important for us to be at the ai expo yeah because as an institute as you will see we will uh, uh, i will i will show you just now we have a really a network of of, of really competent uh, people uh, across various disciplines, yeah? and um, <clears throat> and we're keen to get involved in in collaborations, uh, not only within academia but also outside acad academia with industry and government, uh, and so on and so forth. Yeah? <clears throat> That's why I decided to to, to present the institute uh, as such at the AI Expo. <clears throat> Okay, so this was the old, <laughs> the old NITA, yeah, and okay, so, uh, I'm doing fine with time. Yeah? Now uh, to the new. Yeah, to the new institute. Yeah, um, the new institute <clears throat> uh, became a necessity. Yeah, because uh, the old one, uh, NITEP, uh, was treated by NRF uh, as a center of excellence. Yeah, and in the um, terminology of, of of the National Research Foundation, um, centers of excellence uh, have a limited time span. Yeah, they can live. Uh, for for three cycles of, of five years, yeah, and NITEP reached that uh, that limit, yeah. So, <laughs> so the, the the sunset clause uh, hit the old NITEP, yeah. But because it's very successful, we we, we had to think uh, uh, how to let it uh, survive, yeah. And so that um, a few years ago, DSI and RF um, <clears throat> developed a, a concept document to to uh, to save NITEP by by making it bigger. Yeah. Uh, so uh, stakeholder workshops were uh, were held to get input from uh, from many uh, from many groups, from many sectors. Yeah. <clears throat> then uh, uh, an expert working group uh, was uh, was established mainly with uh, specialists in, in in various areas. Uh, a task team within NITEP was, was formed, mainly composed of, of, of NITEP management and uh, representatives of, of DSI and NRF. And the first milestone was the development of a document uh, that is available on our web website uh, that um, defined uh, and uh, assessed the, the, the scientific need for such an institute. Yeah? Uh, when this was 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 proven and then and DSI approved it, uh, the, then the expert working group and the interim director, which is myself, yeah, um, were, were tasked to write a roadmap on the transition from NITEP to NITEP. Yeah? And this is the document that uh, uh, at the beginning of the year was, was approved by by the minister, and and we were given the go ahead to to implement uh, and and realize this this new institute. Yeah? <clears throat> okay, just uh, if uh, you might be able. To know some, you might know some of these people. These are the people that were involved in, in the task team, and and here are the 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 the, the, the members of the expert working group uh, that was uh, uh, chaired uh, by Professor Igle Glethill, who was previously at the CSIR and and is now uh, associated with uh, with Wits University. And you see, essentially, there there, there were two representatives of. Uh, of, of, of eight different uh, disciplines. Yeah? <clears throat> and, and I will speak about them in, in, in a second. Yeah? So and these, these are the two documents. Uh, one is the, the, the roadmap and one is the previous uh, scientific case for NITEX. And if you're curious, uh, you, you, you find them on our website and, and you can download this PDF. Or if you prefer the hard copy, let us know. We will make a plan to, to, to send one to you. <clears throat> So this is now the, the, the vision and, and mission of the new institute. Yeah, I, I won't read the, the vision and mission statement. You can re read it <laughs> while, while I talk. Yeah, but the very important thing is that uh, the, 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 the vision of the institute rests uh, upon four pillars. Yeah, two are of course obvious, yeah? research uh, and, and, and training. Yeah, uh, the third pillar, which is, um, Semi-obvious, yeah, is, is engagement. Yeah, so we, we want to engage with, uh, with with the community at large. Yeah, with, 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 with many stakeholders. Yeah, from the learners in high school that need to decide what they want to study, to their parents, to policy policymakers, industry, 
uh, and, and, and uh, many other uh, stakeholders. So the, the important thing is that now this engagement uh, is on equal footing with research, with research and training. Yeah? So we have a, a really uh, serious job to, uh, to do. And the fourth pillar, which is also on the same level as the previous three, is Africa. Yeah? So we are an institute uh, in South Africa, yeah? for South Africa. We are embedded, embedded in the African uh, continent. And, and our aim is to address uh, the, 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 the high impact social and economic challenges uh, that, uh, that South Africa first and Africa next uh, um, faces. Yeah? So, so this is also part of our, uh, of, of our, uh, of our DNA, yeah? of our identity. Yeah? Now, and this is now the interesting uh, slide. Yeah? <clears throat> uh, these are the eight disciplines that, that NITEX uh, take care, takes care of. Yeah? And the, the, the representation on the left is, is cut and paste from the roadmap. The one on the right, uh, uh, I, will, I will explain just now. So the eight disciplines, are, uh, I mentioned theoretical physics, of course, was already part of NITEP. Uh, then astronomy and astrophysics were partially already part of NITEP as well, because you know it's difficult to, uh, to have a fixed uh, solid boundary between theoretical physics and, and, and astrophysics. It's quite fluid. So we have already, we had already astrophysicists in our, uh, in our associate network, but now we also open up of course, the theoretical and computational aspects of, 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 of astronomy and astrophysics. Yeah, but completely new is now that we have further basic sciences um, to care of. Yeah, we have mathematics, statistics, uh, and data science. Yeah? So these are really uh, this is probably a really a qualitative <laughs> impact in in the science that uh, that we'll be able to do in uh, in future. Yeah, and next to these uh, really basic sciences, we have also the, the quantitative and computational. Uh, aspects yeah, of, uh, of biology, yeah, um, bioinformatics, quantitative biology, yeah, of earth systems modeling and climate change modeling <clears throat> and quantitative finance. Yeah? So we, we really open up uh, to, to, to many interesting, uh, uh, interesting uh, uh, field of application of, of, of basic research. Yeah? <clears throat> so the, 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 the illustration here on the right, um, you know, um, shows you what the real challenge is of, of setting up such an institute. Yeah, because we have eight disciplines that, uh, for many years, didn't really speak too much to each other. Yeah? And and now we need to put them together. Yeah, and 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 we need to find a way uh, that um, <clears throat> uh, that that there is a point in which they they meet, so that uh, so that the famous. Uh, uh, Total is more than the sum of the parts, yeah? because that's what we want to ultimately uh, ultimately achieve. Yeah? So this, this is the component where, where we're really uh, working hard to, to, to achieve these interdisciplinary, transdisciplinary, multidisciplinary approaches to the big challenges that, uh, um, that, uh, that we are facing. Yeah? So, and, and you see, and things like uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence are tools that, that are common to all of these eight disciplines. Yeah? So that those are really uh, core, uh, core skills that, uh, that, um, that, 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 that we develop and, and that we use as a glue uh, to bring together all these various disciplines and all the potential applications. And, and you know, it's not difficult to imagine that uh, we can address lots of different applications. <clears throat> Okay, of course, uh, NITEX uh, doesn't operate uh, in, in, in a vacuum. Yeah, you know, there are already many other <laughs> institutes in the country devoted to several aspects of, 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 uh, of what is now the mission of, uh, of NITEX. Yeah? At the center is, of course, the Center for High Performance Computing in, uh, in Cape Town, which is part of NICHIS, the National Integrated Cyber Infrastructure System. Yeah? Uh, together with Teresa and, uh, and Sandran, because now we have computational in the name and uh, uh, we have already a very nice relationship, a very productive uh, uh, inter, inter relationship with the CPC. And we are slowly setting up a relationship to many other players in, uh, in the country. Yeah? <clears throat> with, with some, we have already uh, formalized the relationships, with others, we are in the process of, uh, of doing so. Yeah? So you see, we, we try to, to uh, we don't want to scare away anyone. We're really looking forward to work with many other, uh, with many other institutes <clears throat> and, um, and, and, and partners. 
So the, 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 the institute it is um, structured <laughs> like this. This is probably a little bit boring. Uh, you know, you can imagine we have a, a steering committee, we have an advisory board, uh, and, and we have a, a management committee, including the, 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 the director, and then, of course, the associates, the, no, the focus areas. Uh, that I would that, that describe and the and the nodes, yeah, because we at the moment NITEP has three nodes, as I said, Stellenbosch, Wits, and UK S10. In future, we hope to have many more because the institute is, is growing is growing. Yeah? And you see, if you go from one to eight disciplines, of course, many, many more people are uh, are impacted. Yeah. So that, that that's it. Okay, this is maybe uh, a little bit boring. This is the structure of our of, of, of our management, um, and uh, and this is uh, and what is more interesting for you now is is where we are standing now. Yeah, you know, the, the, I showed you the vision, the mission, but we need to get there, <laughs> get there. Yeah. So at the moment we are somewhere in between the the, the transition and the and, and and the foundational phase. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> and and soon uh, we will uh, we will. Uh, uh, start the, the, the development phase. In fact, we, we just put the first uh, steps in, 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 in that direction because the aim is, uh, is for the Institute uh, to be up and running uh, by, the, by, by March of next year. Yeah? So originally, in the original plan was to be up and running by 2023, but then for a series of, uh, of other constraints, yeah, uh, it was decided to, to speed it up. So we, we are now in the phase where we are addressing this milestone from three to seven, and, and those should all be in place uh, by the before the end of, of, of this year, so that the last few <laughs> aspects can be put in place at the beginning of next year, and we will be ready uh, to run uh, uh, with all systems uh, in place um, by latest March next year. So you see, it's, it's just now it's September started, so it, we, we're just half a year away from, from having set up the, the, the Institute. <clears throat> okay, this is the, 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 the Gantt chart, so it's uh, uh, the, the today was the end of uh, July because I used this slide in another presentation before, but that's not so crucial. Yeah. So this talk, <laughs> this uh, is uh, sorry I said this morning because I'm recording it this morning, but I don't know what time you're watching it. Yeah. Uh, is it, essentially part of, of of a roadshow that that, that we embark. Yeah. So and and we have the aim before the end of the year to 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 have done uh, such a presentation at least at all universities in the countries and many other. Uh, partner institutes so that we can grow our network of associates and also our network of institutional associates. Yeah, that's another category uh, of associates that uh, uh, that we have. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, at the moment, yeah, and at the moment means uh, probably three, four weeks ago, yeah, uh, we have 123 uh, associates. Yeah, originally, you know, we started with around 70. Yeah, and, and our aim is to have before the end of the year 150. Yeah, so we, we are almost there. And every week we, we, we add a few, and after every <laughs> presentation, we add a few, and hopefully after this presentation, we'll also be able to add uh, to add a few more. And you see, we are still uh, dominated by, by theoretical physics, but the reason we have here 150, because once we have 150, then of course theoretical physics will be less than half. Yeah, and and then the character of the institute will change. Yeah, because we'll have more mathematicians, more statisticians, more data scientists, more astrophysicists, uh, climate change modelers, and uh, biologists, and, and and quantitative finance people. Yeah, so that, that that's the aim for this year. And of course, as the time, you know, it took NITEP uh, 15 years to reach 70. Yeah, and now within a few months, we have almost doubled that number. So the the, the I think the future is is bright. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, ah, this may be also be interesting for you, the distribution per, uh, per province of our associates. You see where we have the nodes, we have the largest number of, of associates. Yeah, that's maybe that's not so surprising. And we are represented in all provinces except one. Yeah, and, and that we, 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 we are addressing. So we will make a plan to have at least one in every, in every province before the end of the, before the, end of the year. Um, this is also interesting. You know, we are represented uh, at all, almost all traditional university, yeah, uh, 12 out of 14, uh, at five out of six comprehensive university, at half the University of Technology, yeah, so that's where we need to, to work a little bit harder uh, to, to, to reach out to, to, to some of the University of Technology where we are not, uh, not present. Um, and, that, um, at, and, and we are represented at five out of eight uh, um, HDIs, yeah, 
and this is now kind of a puzzle, but the solution of the puzzle is here. We are not represented only at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven universities in the country. Yeah? And, and of course, now, 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 now that we know, we will, we will make a, uh, an effort to, to reach out to all of them so that we, we bring them on board uh, of our new institute uh, as well uh, as soon as possible. Yeah? <clears throat> We have already received uh, uh, requests to, to set up nodes, and, uh, and in fact, uh, we already issued a just a few days ago a formal call uh, to establish new nodes, and, and hopefully soon we will be able to, to cover all, uh, all of South Africa in this, uh, I don't know what color it is, and uh, not yellow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that, that, that's the plan. Yeah, so that at least uh, our first step will be to aim to have at least one presence, one node, uh, in every province, uh, so to become really a, a, a national institute, yeah? and uh, you know, and, and now with almost two years, one and a half years of, of, of pandemic experience, uh, we will really we are really exploring uh, the setting up of a virtual institute, yeah, because uh, uh, all our interactions are, are, are virtual so far, yeah, so that um, <clears throat> uh, it turned out to be. Uh, a positive, a positive thing. Okay, we're all looking forward to go back to, to meeting in person, yeah? But the, the virtual component allowed us to do things that we wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. Yeah? <clears throat> uh, another very interesting thing is that we signed uh, a letter of understanding uh, recently with ICTP, the International Center for Theoretical Physics in Trieste, which is a UNESCO sponsored, uh, uh, and, and Italian, UNESCO and Italy sponsored uh, uh, large institute, not only of theoretical physics, but uh, uh, it covers essentially all the disciplines that NITEX covers as well. Yeah? And, um, and we are planning to, to set up programs of exchange of students and staff in, in, in both direction. And we are working on, on a formal MOU uh, that will be signed uh, uh, in, in a, probably in a month or two latest. Yeah? Uh, so th that is uh, that also a very nice uh, link. <clears throat> and. Uh, um, we already started publishing <laughs> under the NITEX. Uh, um, I can't say logo because uh, the, the, that's the one of the items on the agenda of the next steering committee meeting, the approval of the new logo, so that we don't have yet. But we have started already. We already uh, this was the, 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 the first paper uh, of, of NITEX. In the meantime, there, there, there are more. Yeah? And um, yeah, and that brings me to the end of my presentation. And um, I think I managed to finish in uh, just on time. And um, I'm available for uh, for questions. Uh, and I'm looking forward very much to 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 listen to to your feedback. So thank you very much uh, for for listening. And um, <clears throat> and I'm um, looking forward to interact with you just now.